increasing research showing the benefit of using masks alongside social distancing strategies, the New South Wales Government has recommended that you use masks when you're out and about and unable to socially distance from other people. An example of that might be when you're in public transport, when you're out and about in the street, when you're grabbing a coffee. So it's important to know how to pop a mask on and how to take a mask off to try and reduce your risk of contracting COVID. So before you pop your mask on, you want to use hand hygiene. Grab your mask by the ear loops. I want to make sure you store it in a, in a sealable bag as well so that you're not distributing the germ particles. Popping it over the ears, then the nose. Make sure it's in position. Make sure the edges are tight and underneath is really tucked under your chin. Once it's on, you don't want to touch any area of the mask, although if you do accidentally do so, just use your hand hygiene again to clean your hands. Other things you're looking out for are to make sure that your mask doesn't become soiled or damp or wet. If it does, you want to be sure to take it off and wash it afterwards or throw it in the bin if it's a disposable mask. So to take it off, hand hygiene. Grabbing by the loop of the mask, pulling away so that you don't flick any of those particles onto you. You're folding it up, popping it straight back in your sealable bag. There's a number of disposable masks on the market that you can purchase to use with COVID-19. There's two different types. There's the surgical mask and there's the N95 or the P2 mask. So with the surgical mask, you want to make sure that it meets Australian standards. What you're looking for is three ply and you can check for more information about that on the Therapeutic Goods Australia website. The other one is the N95 mask, which also needs to meet standards from the TGA. And you can also look for the standard on here, which says N-I-O-S-H. These items are single use. So as soon as they're soiled, dirty, wet, or you've finished using them, you should dispose of them in the bin straight away and you shouldn't share them with anyone. Fabric masks are a whole other kettle of fish. The research has shown that you need something that's at least three layers in a fabric mask, but it must be a combination of hydrophobic and hydrophilic fabrics. So what that means is you want a combination of cotton and polyester or nylon, and they should be layered. If you choose to use an entirely cotton mask, then it must be at least four layers and it should have a thread count of 120 or higher. I recommend that you go and look at the government websites. They've got patterns, they've got recommendations of types of fabric that you can use that you probably even have lying around at your home. Now, some common mistakes you might make when wearing your mask is wearing it incorrectly. You want to be sure it's over your nose and not underneath, like this. Don't pull it down to hang under your chin. Don't leave it hanging just on one ear, flapping about. If you wear glasses, I would recommend that you choose a mask that has some sort of sturdy band at the top to be able to pull it over your nose. The other thing, there's a number of tips around um, putting soap on your glasses to keep a little film on it um, and you can see a number of recommendations for that all over the internet. Now wearing a mask isn't necessarily a fun thing to do so it will take you a little while to get used to wearing it and having something on your face. I recommend just giving yourself a little trial, try 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there and know that while wearing a mask, you're helping protect your community from the transmission of COVID.